so today I thought I would share with you something that could be easily made for lunch. It involves no cooking. Um, and I learned about using uh, these noodles called kelp noodles at the ranch in California. And since then, I've been using them a lot with my clients who absolutely love them. Uh, kelp noodles are a seafood, so it's a, it's a sea vegetable. And you can buy these packages at most, super, um, most supermarkets and also order them on Amazon. I order them on Amazon. And when you open the package, um, you're gonna see these noodles and they're going to feel um, kind of unappetizing. So what I'll show you today is how to make them um, softer and how to make them more palatable in a way that you could use them with different marinades and also put them on top of your salads or into soups. Um, kelp noodles fit into many diets because they are gluten-free, they're vegan, they're free of any allergen. Basically what you have is um, kelp. They're made out of kelp, water, and iodine. Um, if you are uh, on a low iodine diet, then you have to be careful about using kelp noodles, but otherwise um, these are easy, healthy, and very, very low on calories. Um, and they do have um, a lot of nice things. They have good uh, minerals like magnesium and calcium and zinc and iron. So those are um, important for us. So when I open the box, there's the, the package, there's going to be a little bit of water. And what I'll do is I'll pull the noodles out and get rid of the water. Now these noodles are very long. So to make it easier, I cut them first. So just cut them up a little bit so that they're not as long and easier to eat. Some people like them just like that. If you're making sushi, some people like to just roll the kelp noodles uh, into sushi rolls, which is another idea. And then all you do is fill up the bowl with water, like I did here and let them the noodles sit in plain water for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna use the uh, noodles that I already soaked for 10 minutes. And then you take lemon juice and baking soda. And very often, if you have kids, they would love to see this. It's like a little bit of a chemistry experiment. I'm gonna put them both at the same time and you get this fizzing <laughs> that kids like to see. And then I'm just going to immerse them with the lemon juice and baking soda. And that's essentially going to cook the noodles. So they're gonna get softer. And in a few minutes, I'll just rinse them and then marinate them in different sauces. So now you could see that the noodles are clear and nice and soft and they're really delicious if you want to add them into a broth, into a soup um, for the extra minerals um, and also as a filler and if you like noodles but don't want the calories, these are, this whole package is about 25-30 calories if you eat the whole package. So I'm going to take some noodles and I like to eat them these two different ways. Um, I put the noodles in the bowl and I add a little bit, a touch of toasted sesame oil, a touch of coconut aminos. Um, this is to replace soy sauce. Um, this is soy free. So if you want to stay soy free with your um, um, sauce, then coconut aminos or tamari. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. And then I really like dill, so I chopped up some dill today, but you could use parsley, you could do scallions, you could do um, cilantro. I'm going to add some dill today. And then I really like to add a crunch with sesame seeds. Gomaggio are sesame seeds that are uh, meshed together with some sea salt, so adding that. And toss it all together. And these are just like delicious. 
Um, also easy to package to go for lunch if you need a lunch to go and you could keep them refrigerated for a few days and they'll still be good. So next I'm going to use the noodles with some very simple pesto sauce made with pine nuts and basil and I think that the pesto is a great combination with these noodles. Um, so again, just another option if, pe if pesto is your favorite thing, you can add some pine nuts on top. That would make it more, bring in the crunch. And again, you can box it into a nice lunch box and take it to go.